As people across Turtle Island braced for another recession, housing rights activists and their allies took to the streets of Vancouver's downtown Eastside for the fifth annual Women's Housing March. As people know, last night there was a tragedy in the downtown Eastside, and this march is taking place in the context of the death of Verna, who was found on the sidewalk in front of the Regent exactly one year. Exactly one year after Ashley Machisnik was found in the downtown east side, brutally murdered. And there was a decision this morning and last night by women in the community and elders in the community to continue with this march. Because this march is incredibly important in highlighting the daily reality of women in this neighborhood. The daily struggles of women who are forced to endure grinding, grinding levels of poverty, of abuse, of violence, of systemic racism, a legacy of residential schools that continues today with the apprehension of Aboriginal children, of Indigenous children. <laughs> that this march is organized and led by women in this community because women in this community have a voice and are strong and every single day teach us what it means to resist. <laughs> After free pizza for the people, which boycotted expensive, gentrifying pizza parlors, the march wound its way through the downtown east side, stopping at the controversial site of the sequel 138 development. The march occupied several intersections throughout the day so that people passing through the busy Hastings corridor would feel the community's resistance to systemic violence against the missing, poor, and homeless women of the downtown east side. I committed crime, Lord, I need the cops blocked entry into expensive restaurants in the area. They couldn't stop street theater targeting businesses that are gentrifying the neighborhood. And since they gawked at us today, we're gonna gawk at them, right?